Hey, what's going on guys? My name is ZinnikHD and welcome back to another Pixel Strike 3D video. And in today's Pixel Strike 3D video, we're going to be taking a look at the M1 Garand. The M1 Garand is one of the most recent weapons that came out in Pixel Strike 3D. It came out exactly in the 5.0.0 update along with a bunch of other weapons, such as the MP40, the trench gun and the belt dagger. This weapon, in my opinion, is definitely underrated. Now, if you jump into any kinds of servers in Pixel Strike 3D, you'll most likely never to see someone with the M1 Garand. I barely see anyone nowadays running with this thing in their hands, and that's why I decided to make this video for the purpose of more people get to know this weapon a little bit better, and how to use it, and how well it actually performs, because this weapon can actually perform very, very well as long as you know how to use it correctly. First of all, let's take a look at the stats of it. It has a damage of 40, a fire rate of 3.3 bullets per second, a range of 120, a recoil of 5, and it can hold up to 16 bullets per round. Now, let's sum the things up. It has for a fact a damage of 40, meaning it will take up to at least 3 body shots to take out a target, or 1 headshot and 1 body shot. It has a fire rate of 3.3 bullets per second, which is almost like the heavy rifle's fire rate, just a bit slower. And it also has an impressive range of 120, meaning that you can take out players from a very far distance. This range is actually bigger than the marksman rifle's range, so your damage won't get lower until you actually start firing at players from a really far distance. The recoil of it is 5, which basically gives you a very smooth experience when using it. It can hold up to 16 bullets per round and that's perfectly fine considering you can kill a player with just 2 to 3 bullets, which is approximately 5 to 8 kills per round. I also really like the fact that it literally takes nearly a half second to reload this thing. Just have a look for yourself. But what about perks? Which perk goes best along with the M1 Garand? Well, in my personal opinion, the Extended Max seems to be the upper choice. With the Extended Max, you will have a noticeable increased amount of ammo. Your ammo will be increased with 50%, which is uh, 8 ammo for the M1 Garand. 16 plus 8 is 24, so you will have an increased amount of ammo of 24 ammo. And maps. What map should you be playing on in order to get the best experience out of the M1 Garand? Well, since the Emma Garand is a long range weapon, a big map would be the ideal place to use this thing. The best maps will be the Summer Garden, the Orbit, Sandstorm, and of course, Strike. And last but not least, Attachments. What attachments should you attach to the M1 Garand? My personal favorite attachment for this weapon is purely the red dot side and the foregrip. When equipping both of these, you're going to be having a really smooth gameplay since the recoil is reduced with so much. Well, that was it for the video guys. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to smash that like button, comment, 
and subscribe to my channel for more awesome Pixel Strike 3D content if you haven't already. Well, anyway, guys, I'll see you all in my next video. So, peace out, guys. Peace out.